Hi everyone, in one of our early videos, we developed an online image editor. We had quite a few features there. Like, rotating image, adding filters, cropping image etc. To develop this, we used our own developed open source JavaScript library, photo.js, which is hosted in GitHub. From our viewers, we received few requests, to make a video, on how to clip an image, in different shapes. Today, we are going to develop, a small application, to clip images of our choice. So, without any more delay, let's start. First of all, let me show you that, I have created a project folder, for this project. I have a simple HTML file, index.html. Apart from this HTML file, I have a shapes folder, where I have few PNG format images, of different shapes. These shapes we will use, to clip our images. Now to start our coding, let's go back to index.html file. Out first task will be, to display all the images, under shapes folder. So, let's first create an image container div. And then, let's just keep all the images, inside the container div. For CSS styling, let's create a file, style.css. Also, let me first link the CSS file, with the index.html. Let's put it, inside head section. Now, we will add styling for, image container class. Let's just put height 100 pixels, for image container div. And, let's make all the image width as 100 pixels. Also, I will add text align center, for image container. Let's check the result in browser. As you can see, the images are listed at the top of the page. Let's go back to index.html coding. First, I will add ID, for all the image elements. Let's put the ID same as the image file's name. Now, I will add one more image element, outside image container, with ID hidden. Let's add styling for hidden ID as display none. So, the hidden image element, will not show up in the page. I will explain the purpose of it later. One final element, we will add is canvas. Let's add the canvas elements ID also, as canvas. Now, let's create a separate file, index.js, for JavaScript coding. We have to add the index.js, inside HTML. Also, we will use jQuery, for our project. So, let's get the jQuery CDN from internet, and paste that at index.html. Let's start our JavaScript coding. I will first define, the window.onload function. Inside the function, let's get the canvas element, by ID, And then, we will get the 2D context, from the canvas. 2D context will be used, to draw images in the canvas. Now, we will set the canvas size, same as client width and client height. This will make the canvas size same as, full screen resolution. I just forgot to add an input type file, which will be required to select image, that we want to clip. So, let's go back to HTML and add a file input, Let's keep it, inside a wrapper div, with class file container. Also add, input type files elements id as file. Now, we will add few styling, for file container div. And, let's make, default margin and padding 0, for all the elements. Now, let's check, how does our UI look like. Okay, so we have the images list at the top. Then this is our file selection area. And, below that we have our canvas, with full screen resolution. Now, we will write code, to select an image, using input type file. And, draw that image in canvas. So, let's go to, index.js. In file input change event, we will draw the selected file, into canvas. We have created a new image object. 
and drawing that image object in canvas. Also, we are setting the image object source as the selected file. Now, let's check the result. From the browser, let me select one image. And, you can see, the selected image is showing in the canvas, right? Our aim is to clip the selected image based on the above shapes. So, we will now add click event on the shape images. So, let's go to index.js and add a click event on the images inside image container div. Now, we will get the ID of the clicked shape. If you remember, we kept the ID same as the image name. So, the ID variable will contain the image name. Correct? Now, we will set to the hidden image element source same as clicked shape. We are just setting the same image in the hidden image element, because we did not set any CSS width or height in the hidden element. So that, we can get the shape image's original width and height. In style.css, let's remove the display none property from hidden element. In the browser, if we click on a shape, we can see that the original size of the images. Right? Now, we will use this original size to clip image from the canvas. Let's go back to our code and make the hidden element as display none again. Now, in the index.js file, we will remove the var keyword from the image variable so that it can be accessible from anywhere in the code. Finally, inside image click function, we will write our image clipping code. Before writing that final piece of code, let me request you, please subscribe to channel codeboard. Your subscription, likes, and comments motivate me to create many such interesting videos for all of you. First, let me write the code for clipping image, then I will explain you line by line. First, I am selecting the hidden image element in a variable. After that, I am resetting the canvas. Basically, I am filling up the full canvas with white color. After resetting it, actual clipping code is starting. Global composite operation, source in means the image will be displayed only where both images will overlap. And finally, I am setting the global composite operation source over, which is the default value for any canvas context. I am resetting it to default to make sure next clipping will give us the expected result. We will test it now. So, let's go to the browser. And select an image. Now, if you click on shapes, you will get to see the clipped image output. Using save as image, you can also save it. But the problem here is, the clipped position is fixed here, you cannot move it as per your choice. Also, we should have a download button instead of save as image. I will develop these advanced features in next part. That's it for today. Please like and share my videos. Put your feedback in comment. And as always, please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.